Hello there guys, this is Christy Lowe's from Dostoevsky in Space and today I'm bringing to you an announcement of the Advent read-along that I will be doing this coming Advent 2022 and I'm not gonna have time to edit this video at all so apologies if I make mistakes or whatever. Uh, it's gonna be off the cuff today. I actually, not off the cuff, I have it all uh, here on my iPad but I just usually leave lots of room for editing. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so uh, we're going to be reading The Man Born to be King by Dorothy L. Sayers. This is uh, a gospel play that was originally written for radio, um, but it's like a really wonderful retelling of the four gospel narratives all combined into one narrative. And sometimes she'll take us into the perspective of somebody else who was not originally uh, given a perspective, you know, in the gospel, if you know what I mean. Like, I think we followed Judas around for a while. It's been a couple of years since I read it, so I don't remember it super well. I just remember I really loved this, and I really loved the gospel play as well that was in her collection for Sacred Place. So, excited to jump back into this. Um, I just always am trying to hype Dorothy L. Sayers up, because, like, nobody on booktube talks about her, but she is fantastic. Like, you know, I, I love the Inklings, but man, she is like possibly my favorite Inkling. Like, that's crazy to say, I know, because I love C.S. Lewis and I love J.R.R. Tolkien. And uh, yeah, I think they're all, they all are unique and have wonderful things to say. But um, Dorothy L. Sayers was a powerhouse and nobody talks about her. Uh, but anyways, so this play was actually available to me through my library so you can check for it there. It's also cheaper on like Christian book websites I've noticed than it is on Amazon. It's kind of expensive on Amazon. So check your libraries, check the Christian book websites. It's also available I think as like an audiobook on Audible like like the original audio plays. So I'm gonna buy that and try that out and I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, very excited to reread that and since I read it physically the first time I, that's why I'm planning on trying the audio version because that's what it was originally like intended to be. So um, yeah, so the readathon is starting December 1st and it will end December 31st and we're going to do it in the mornings so that people from the UK can follow us easily or from Europe can easily follow along if they want and also so that um, uh, like on December 31st, if you want to go out and party for New Year's, you can still do that. Uh, we'll be earlier. So it'll be 10 a.m. Pacific time and um, 1 p.m. Easter time, e Eastern times. That will be the consistent time for our two live shows. So we're going to do uh, reading sprints on Emma the Bookish Princess's YouTube channel. So excited for that. That'll be December 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific time and um, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And then we're also gonna have a finale live show, hopefully on my channel. Whenever I set live show dates now, it always comes with a, you know, an asterisk if I'm feeling up to it that day. Occasionally there have been times where we've had to cancel live shows and that's always very scarring for me. Um, if I'm not feeling up to it, it's so hard for me to decide to cancel it. I just want to push through it, but that's not what's best for my health. If I'm really having a bad day, then it's best for me to cancel the show. Um, and some days it's literally just impossible. I just can't, I can't sit up or something, you know? So, asterisk, assuming it works for me, we, you know, if it doesn't work, then we can just change the dates and I'll definitely let you guys know if that happens. I'll either post a short or an announcement or both and watch my Instagram because I post there more frequently. Um, a lot of times like on a more daily basis, <laughs> although I haven't been lately, but I will during the readathons, I promise. <laughs> um, anyways, so the finale show, hopefully on my channel on December 31st, will be the date of the, that live show, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so the co-hosts are going to be Victoria, a musical bookworm, of course, and uh, I was so excited that she liked Dorothy L. Sayers when we did a Dorothy L. Sayers Advent read-along last year. That was so exciting. And Emma from The Bookish Princess, who is the other Sayers fan in this group, like, I, she was already reading Dorothy L. Sayers. I don't know where she hears of all these amazing authors, but several, several authors I've learned of from her um, that were authors of faith that I love. This one I learned about in college, so. 
Anyways, so excited that Emma's going to join us and host sprints. We're going to be in Victoria's Discord, by the way. So I will link her Discord down below. And um, Raised to Walk, so that's Carla. She was like my first booktube friend. Uh, and she's very big into Bible study and she uh, is such a brain. She has such a brain for this stuff and such devotion to bringing out the truth of the Word of God. And so I think that she really enjoyed it last year as well. Um, our Dorothy L. Sayers read along with the exception that our book did not have the uh, like the dates that things were published and it was missing some of that background information um, and like citations I think it was also missing <laughs> so that that's annoying um, but so other than that I think she enjoyed it a lot I think everybody who read along with us enjoyed it although there were some mixed feelings um, from some of the readers so she's always a Dorothy has said is joy not everybody's gonna agree with everything that she says but she's like she says it so wittily <laughs> And she's so well thought out, everything that she says, that it's just really a treat. She's a treat to read. Um, and then we're possibly also going to have Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia join us. I don't know yet. I just asked her today. I randomly texted her today, and she's busy. So uh, she has not texted me back yet. So I don't know yet if she's going to join us. But as usual, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. And uh, hopefully she can join us. We'll have to see. Anyways, um... Yeah, so a couple of us will post announcement videos, uh, me included, so definitely check out the channels of my co-hosts. I will link them all down below, and keep an eye on those channels if you're interested in this readathon at all, or if you just read, just follow them. They're, they're great. Uh, so yeah, and um, I'll try to also post some discussion questions and stuff like that um, when the time for the live show is coming up. Anyways, that is all guys, uh, and I hope that you'll let me know down below if you're going to join us, and I hope that you will join us, and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.